All right, let's let's get away from the poetry and into um, the orange bastard. I, I love this little piece. This uh, this appeared at Mediaite, uh, and yes, it's got the F word in it. So you know, uh, if if you can't make the abrupt shift from Irish poetry to the F word in in guttural English, I, I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, a Trump advisor uh, has uh, is letting the world know that. Uh, the orange bastard is is truly, truly losing his mind. Um, this advisor told CNN that Trump is throwing, quote, fucking temper tantrums, end quote, and threatening not to lead the White House on Inauguration Day. Oh, Jesus. Now, this appeared on Mediaite, if you've been to their website, two days ago. But this, this is, it, it explains that the orange bastard is convinced. How could he be? But he's convinced he won the 2020 election. And he's now telling his aides that he is considering just not leaving on January 20th, which is mandated by the Constitution. Because Joe Biden will be inaugurated as the next president that day. And by the way, I would think that the orange bastard being the, 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 the super spreader that this son of a bitch is and his whole gruesome crew, I would think that they would have the courtesy, the decency, the tip of the hat to public health or the health of the incoming Biden administration to get the hell out of the White House about five days in advance so the place could be sanitized, fumigated, cleaned from what these filthy, filthy Trumpists have done in there. But that won't happen. Anyway, it was on Erin Burnett's program out front and she uh, on CNN. And she noted or she reported that Trump appears to have flip flopped on accepting the reality of his defeat. And now adamantly believes a number of conspiracy theories that falsely claim he won the 2020 election. I mean, if, if this guy is not insane, then as has been said so often, we need a new definition of the word. Anyway, uh, Aaron Burnett explained this, quote, sources tell CNN that the president has pulled a 180, no longer privately, quote unquote, getting the joke, not that it was ever funny. He used to privately accept the reality that, that he lost the election, but now, no, he's starting to believe his own lies that the election was stolen. He now believes that, so much so, Aaron Burnett added, that Trump has told some advisors that mean he may not leave the White House on an inauguration day, end quote. <laughs> God. Well, I've said all along, I, I could appreciate that scenario. I really could. I mean, it would be risky and probably dangerous, but look what we've gone through for four years. Look what we're going through right now with the revelations that Trump has opened the floodgates for the Russians to invade Russian intelligence, Russian military intelligence, to invade every single aspect of, of government institutions, uh, a corporate, uh, a private business, nuclear, God knows what. Trump invited Putin to do this. Trump is a traitor by any definition. He has committed high treason. He should be tried and, if convicted, suffer the full penalty of treason. But I don't think we have anybody in this country with the courage to insist on that. Anybody in the legal system or the political system. I'll insist on it. The son of a bitch should be put on trial for treason. But I digress. In fact, there, there, there really is no legal scenario in which uh, uh, Trump can remain in office. It just doesn't exist. But that doesn't mean shit to him. This is a guy instructed his, his scummy crew not to respond to congressional subpoenas. 
So what's Inauguration Day? Feh. It means nothing to this bastard. Not a thing. So while there's no legal scenario in which Trump remains in office or in residence in the White House, in the living quarters <laughs> beyond January 20th, um, what are we going to do? Biden won the Electoral College after all the 50 states in D.C. certified their votes. So entering or remaining in any restricted building <laughs> violates the restricted building would be the White House. The person who has no business being there after the 20th of January is the orange son of a bitch. So entering or remaining in any restricted building violates, here you go, 18 U.S. Code, paragraph 1752, which recommends a punishment of a fine or imprisonment of up to a year. Oh, it's only a misdemeanor. But even with Trump's inner circle, the, the real scum suckers, the real vampires, the filthy, rotten subhumans like Stephen Miller and Jared Kushner and Trump's disgusting three adult children. Oh, my God. And some of those people who hover and squat around him no matter what he does. But even among them, there's a recognition that Trump's rantings about the election are, for the most part, meaningless bullshit at this point, as they have been from the beginning. But Trump's inner circle of swine, it took them a while to uh, even, even play with that idea. So anyway, back to Erin Burnett, she reported this, quote, one advisor telling CNN, quote, he's throwing a fucking temper tantrum. He's going to leave. He's just lashing out, okay? That description is the behavior of a person not right in the mind. And Burnett added this. Let's just say it like it is. Temper tantrums, lashing out, talking about, a not, leave, uh, talking about not leaving the White House. Trump is not four years old, right? He's 74. And despite his increasingly deranged delusions, he still has the power to instill fear and sycophancy in others. End quote. That's one thing I have, uh, end quote, Aaron Burnett at CNN. That, that is one of the key issues that I have simply not been able to process on any level whatsoever. And that is the fear and the worship and the dedication to insanity, to this son of a bitch, especially the fear. When I look at the 126 members of the U.S. House who signed on to that asinine, ridiculous, insane attempt before the Supreme Court to nullify, just throw away the, the millions of votes in four states in order to satisfy this orange bastard through his puppet, the soon going to prison Ken Paxton in Texas, Attorney General. I couldn't believe it. 126 members of the U.S. House? And then a couple of senators? Oh, my God. What did they think they're going to get? Trump is going to be, he's not even going to be history. Oh, he'll be history. But most of what he has done, in the historical sense, will be Articles and pieces and essays written for probably decades to come about this horrific period in U.S. history when this country was run by a literal, definable, diagnosable madman who did exactly as he pleased. And anybody who didn't like what he was doing to simply quoting the person in the White House, fuck off. Hi, True Seekers, Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. 
But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com. And never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.